Let's go, go, go. On the bench with Thomas. Let's go, go. Me and James and Nate. Well, let's go, go, go. The water means it's so cool to see what the bench is playing. Thomas is great as a bench. Thomas is great as a bench. It was night time at the Chinese new sheds, however, there has been a change. During the stay, the Chinese manager have ordered for his workmen to build a fifth shed so that way Neil can, can stay in the sheds beside the shrink yards. She, she now has a shed there. One, however, we all know about the situation of Thomas did Henry and James, but but this is probably how our story fixes. One night at the Chinese sheds, all the engines and ace were down. They were there. The young Bao was so tired. Oh, I'm tired, he said. Luckily, I'm not, said Hong Mei. Hong Mei was popping up the turntable to go and pull the mail train. Sleepy head. Now I must go and pull the mail train. Percy pulls the mail train as well, said Thomas. Yes. Percy, is that your your best friend sewed off? asked Hong Mei. Yeah, said James. Percy does do the mail, and the cooler thing about that is, is that I help him with it. Really? said Hong Mei. Yeah, I've been doing this recently. A couple of few weeks ago. Go, I think. Yeah, and he's doing a good job on it, said Neil. Thomas used to pull the mail. Try a long time ago, said Thomas. Said James. Oh, yes, yeah, Thomas, I remember that. And there, and there was this one time where Ever was pulling the mail train. And I think Gordon did it once, once when when the turntables were frozen at the the sheds. Sounds like like you are all. They sound like a lot of blazing adventures, mates," said Ace. Anyways, wait. I must go pod, pod the mail train. Bye, everybody," said Hong Mei. "Bye, Hong Mei," said the other engines, including Ace. Wait, Hong Mei, can I help you? Port, port the mail train? Of course, James, my lover. But come with me and do it. On my way, me dear. Of course, James and Hong Mei are still in love. Of course. See you guys tomorrow morning. Bye, they said. Bye, James. Have fun with your you girlfriend," said Thomas Chickadee. But James didn't. But James does ignore Thomas, including Hong Mei. Huh? Said Thomas. Thomas was still a bit angry with how he controlled the Chinese manager, and he and he's and he's and he was still causing a bit of trouble for James and Hong Mei's love interests. It's a good thing me and Percy are friends. Well. We're always best friends," said Thomas. "We always do. We always go on great adventures. Of course, of course, we are best friends. But the both of us all always we help each other in the end. We may like I don't know, like like fight sometimes, but we're always friends again. Oh." Thomas. Young Bao fall asleep. You know, Thomas, said Nia. I think Young Bao sleeping. Agreed, mate, said Ace. I think we should go sleep as well, said Nia. I agree with her, said Ace. You're right, Neonace. I think we shall. Night, you guys. 
night, Sonia. Good night, mates. And the both and the rest of them went to sleep. Just then, Thomas looked up into the sky. I know you can't hear me, Percy, but good night to you too, Percy. Like what Thomas did before, but Thomas fell asleep. Thomas was dead for sleep, but he wished Percy was here with him, Neil, James, Ace, and his Chinese friends. <sighs> Thomas! said a voice. It was a familiar voice. Thomas woke up and did an engine was pumping in front of him. Wake up, Thomas! It's me! P -p Percy? Is that you? Yeah, it's me, Thomas. Oh, oh my. my! Guys, look! It's Percy! James Neo and Ace were surprised. It was Percy. Ace did know Percy, except Ace did come to a few couple of times, like the first time when, when he came to sort the project Thomas and Neil, and had that race with Gordon, of course, including time with Thomas and, and going to the Yoke Club, of course, and that stuff. Hello, everybody, said Percy. It's pleasure to meet you, Percy. See, again, said Young Bao. I just got back pulling the mail train, said Hong Mei. And Hong Mei was pointing away to me because we're both in love. That's my favorite job, they said. Because Percy loves pulling the mail train. But well, that's why you came all the way from Ch from Seoul to here, Percy. Yeah, like, yeah, very surprised, mate. Like me going, going to my rally races. Come on, Percy, said Thomas. Let me show you everything around China. They first went to the nature reserve. This is the nature reserve, Percy. This is where, where I took the filmmakers to see the pandas. They look cute, said Percy. And now on the Great Wall of China, Percy. Wow, this looks cool. Even looks more good than the expensive bridge back on Sodor. That water bridge river is rice, rice to so people they can drink it. I've lived that once, but it went perfectly. Ah, but that's very nice, said Percy. Then they were passing the tree that, that were nearby the river. Wow, Thomas, China looks so amazing. I know, Percy, and it's even me with my best friend here. Thomas! Huh? Percy? Where'd he go? Percy, where are you? You. Thomas! Wake up! Percy! Percy? Mm -hmm. Percy? It wasn't Percy. See, it just us, said Hong Mei. James and Hong Mei were just coming back and pulling the mail train as they popped into their berths. But, but Percy was here. I introduced you to a man, and he explained the mail was his favorite job. And he saw him. I took him around China, and he all saw him. It must have been a dream, Thomas, said Neil. Agreed, said Young Bao. I think missing Percy is getting all into your head, mate, said Ace. Oh, I just wish Percy was here. And Thomas puffed away to start work. Poor Thomas, said, said the engine nurse. I think I just know how to cheer him up, said, said Hong Mei. What is it? asked Ace. Wait and see. Without resting, Hong Mei put on the turntable and quickly he went to help his friend. Soon Hong Mei arrived at the shunting yard and got what she needed. Meanwhile, Tars was still upset about missing Percy when, when Hong Mei arrived. But but that Thomas saw before. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, 
dragon. It's not a dragon, Thomas. Remember, it's the dragon boat race. Remember? Oh yeah, said Thomas. I forgot. Like how we had dragons at New Year's. Remember? Twice. Hmm. So I do, said Thomas. Wait a minute, is Dragon Boat Race on again? Of course. Just then, all the other engines came into view, including Ace too. Whoa, said Thomas. You seem to have seem to be well, boats in those trucks. That's because this one's gonna be even bigger than last year's, said Young Bao. And this year, James is helping me with them. It was the Chinese manager's orders, said James. Well, said Hong Mei, you will love it. I can't wait to see it, said Thomas. Yeah, it can be awesome like last year's, said Anna. Said Anna. Nate on. You say, James, and Nate, you guys would love to see it. Can't wait. I'm so excited. Yeah, I bet they're gonna be fast like me, said Ace. Soon they're on their way to the boat race. Thomas was taking passengers in Anne and in Long, and James was also with Thomas taking dragon boats in the trucks to the race. On their journey, the passengers were talking about some new boat. I heard it's gonna be a new boat this year. And it's going to be painted red and gold like that one from last year. That should be much more funner. Fun, said Anna Nainong. I can't wait to see that you bought, said James. Me too, said Thomas. I just wish Percy was here, said Thomas. Just then they came to a stop. Whoa! whoa. What's going on, said Anna Nainong? What's going on, said James? James had to stop as well. Well, why Tom was stopping? Come on, Thomas. It's, we can't be late. Yeah, you must be brave and go through that tunnel. They have a point, Thomas. We can't be late. Like, I'm not scared of it. Then why won't you go? said Thomas. If I do, then you probably won't, won't go, and the passage could be late. But then the Boat would be late. Well, well, the boat. I think the boat is on my track and it's in the way. I was meant to say something on the track. Sorry. Besides, there's something on my way in, in in the tracks. Well, Sir Thomas, I'm just just too brave. I mean, I'm just a bit scared. Scared, I don't want to get eaten by a dragon. Just then, James remembered something what Gator told Percy. Remember what what, what Gator told Percy when Percy was scared or something? said James. Remember. But this time, you should always remember it, because this one. And Percy must have told you this before, and you remember it, and so you remember it again. Being brave, brave is something what you do, even you are scared, Thomas. Remember what Percy told you, and what, and that's where Percy got from Gator. You've done a lot of great things like that, and you can do it here, right now. Here, here, said Anna Nainong. So do as Percy told you, said Anna. Agreed, said Nainong and James. All right, said Thomas. So Thomas puffed forwards. But when Thomas was going into the tunnel, he he got closer to the thing on the track. How can I be so silly? said Thomas. That's not not a dragon. It's a boat. It's not just any boat, said Anne. -An. It's the U boat. It must have fallen off of Young Bao's train. And how are we supposed to get through it? But I can't get through it. It's on my tracks, said James. Just then, Thomas had an idea. I think I know how to do this. How? said his friends. Thomas explained his plan. Meanwhile, the race, 
is everybody who was getting ready the all the boats all the way to go and and Longbow near Nace were there ready to see the race. However, the boat was still not found. And the Chinese manager was talking to Young Bao. How can this happen, Young Bao? I don't know, sir. I was pulling them. And I didn't even notice it fell off my trucks. Oh, this is disaster. Just then, they heard heard two whistles. It was Thomas for Anna Nay Long. Thomas, Anna, Elon, have you seen, seen the boat? Do you mean, mean that one? What that one? They all ask. Just then, James arrived. Boy, James had the U boat boat on, on his first flatbed. You, do you mean this one? Whoa, they all said. Thomas, James, and. Uh, uh, Thank you so much. I don't have to thank you. Not getting me in trouble. And thank you so much for being on your flatbed, James. James. It was not my idea. It was Thomas's idea. Well, thank you, Thomas. Oh, there's no need to. Well done, Thomas. Miss, and well done to your points as well, Sir Hong Mei. You saved the race. And now we can now. Started and see them, them, them racing, said Ace happily. Agree, said Nia. Very well then, but Young Bao don't want it to happen again. Yes, sir, said Young Bao. <sighs> said Thomas. I just wish Percy can still see the race. I know, said Nia. I mean, Hong Mei, how about you send Percy a postcard in the mail? Thomas thought it was a brilliant idea like last time. Perfect idea. Yeah, all you do is stamp it, post it, and you'll find my driver can do that job, said James. And then me and Hung Mei can deliver the mail and then can go to the store door. Perfect idea, said Thomas. Thank you so much, guys. But then Thomas liked the idea so much. He wanted to return a favor to to James and Hong Mei, and Thomas knew what he needed to say. Hong Mei, James, I am so sorry what I said to you about you two in love. I just don't know what got to my head. I I I just don't know. It might be how me and went through it. That's all right," said the two engines. Thomas was happy. He's finally now friends again. And with two of them, but Thomas wishes there was he could return some more more to them. Then he had an idea, and something what James did with the Australia engines. Um, Chinese manager. Yes, he asked in tone. You know how all your engines, well, the ones are for sale, are on on for sale. Yes. Well, I was thinking, you see, me, Jay's, and Jay's control, the fact control, of course, we also buy any engines. Really? Yes, it doesn't matter if it's a diesel or steam, or even what they look like, if it's a tank engine or pendo engines, or even a simple scrap or officer, you can still buy them and make them really useful. Well, James and Nia and Nate were also interested by this. Could you try getting talk to our, our controller? Hmm, I can see all I can do. A few minutes later, he soon came back. Good news! Your controller has agreed. Agreed. Turn out to get the news as well. All the engines that are on for sale in China are now living on Sodor. Everyone cheered. Hooray! They said. Well done, Thomas. You're a hero. Thank you so much, Sir Young Bao. Indeed, said Hong Mei. Which what I shall ask Sir Young Bao. She's on for. She's been bought as well. Yeah. Well done, Thomas. Said Young Nace. 
Indeed. Now me and Hong may could be together like always. Well, said Thomas. You can't have two lovers split each other from apart. They always need to be together. And everyone agreed with Thomas on that. So that way me so that way me and Hong May dream to be together as lovers. The next morning on Sodor, Percy arrived by at Wellsworth. When the workmen were getting all the letters out, one workman came up with a letter for Percy. Say, Percy, there's a letter here for you. You all from China. This must be Thomas, including the others. Please read it. You okay then? Here it is. Dear Percy, China is so amazing. I wish you could be here with me. Be with James. James, you, Ace, and all my Chinese friends. And I just want to tell you that all our Chinese friends have been sold to Sodor because they were on for sale. They should be coming to Sodor in a couple of days' time. Please greet them warmly. See you when I come back from Thomas. Oh, Thomas, I can't wait to meet your friends, but at the same time, I also miss you. Indeed, Percy does. And of course, the Chinese these engines and the rest will become the soda as well. Well, but unfortunately, I can't tell you how they come to soda or how they even left China. Because, because how they left China is my next story.